Good evening and welcome to Compline from St Nicholas Church. I'm Joel and I'll be leading us through the order of service this evening as we come before God at the end of the day. Just an opportunity to quiet our hearts and our minds and come to God in prayer. We're going to be using um, the words from common worship. If you've been joining us for these services regularly, then you probably know the words or have access to a copy of them. But if you um, have access to common worship, then it's starting at page 337. If you have them um, in our worship at home booklet, then the words are in there as well. So uh, good evening to Wayne and to Joy and to Claire. It's wonderful to um, be able to come together with you in prayer this evening. So I'm going to just have a moment of quiet before I start. And good evening to Ginny and to Rachel. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Now we have a period of silence just to reflect on those things that we want to say sorry to God for. Maybe it's things that we've done during the day. Maybe it's things that we haven't done. But all those things we can bring to God and apologise. So we say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so I'll just say the words of the hymn this evening. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world we pray would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 138, and if you have a copy of Common Worship, that's on page 860. I hope that all of you are still with me. Uh, my internet just dropped out for a second there, so I hope you've all managed to stay on. Psalm 138. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise to you. I will bow down towards your holy temple and praise your name because of your love and faithfulness. For you have glorified your name and your word above all things. In the day that I called to me, to, in the day that I called to you, you answered me. You put new strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he watches over the lowly. As for the proud, he regards them from afar. 
Though I walk through the midst of trouble, you will preserve me. You will stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand will save me. The Lord shall make good his purpose for me. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And so our short Bible reading is from the book of the prophet Joel, chapter 2 and verse 28. I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. The old shall dream dreams and the young shall see visions. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. So we come to the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. And if you'd like, you can read the whole thing along with me. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So our prayers for this evening and um, as we're celebrating Trinity Sunday on Sunday, I've um, written the prayers on, on a sort of Trinity theme. <clears throat> God, three in one, we pray for unity and peace in the world, that nations and governments can learn to put differences aside in favour of similarities and look for points of common interest and work together for the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our Father and Mother, teach us in the church how to live together as family, looking out for one another and caring for those in need. Make us people who look outwards too, to love and protect all your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, our friend and our brother, sit beside all those who are lonely or anxious tonight. Be that presence that they need beside them in their darkness a hand to hold on to, or a shoulder to cry on. Lord, 
in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Holy Spirit, our healer and our comforter, be present with all the people we know who are ill or suffering this evening. Bring your healing into their lives so that they may know wholeness and peace of mind. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Trinity, accept all of these, our prayers, as we bring them before you at the end of the day. Amen. So we join together now in the words of the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. So thank you all of you for joining with me in this time of prayer and I pray that God will go with you into the rest of your evening and into your day tomorrow. God bless and good night.